Hello everyone, welcome to RimWorld. This is a game that was recommended to me uh, by a friend of mine, you guys might know him, Mr. Leaf himself. He said, I like this game, it says it's like Ani, it's a lot like Prison Architect. So I said, what the heck, we'll give it a try. And sure enough, it's actually pretty fun. So I thought we'd do a video just for the YouTubes. So we'll go ahead and make a brand new colony. Uh, there's different scenarios you can pick. This one's the easiest, crash landed. And of course this one's the hardest. You get a lot of money, but you don't really have a lot of other stuff. So I figured we'll go ahead and try crash landed. That should be good enough for us. Now here we get to pick the different storytellers, which basically is, is just like what types of stuff happens during the game. So, first person here. Uh, yeah, so, steadily increasing curve as stuff goes on. This one gives you a lot of time between disasters to relax and build up. And this guy... Yeah, he's just kind of on his own. So maybe we'll try some challenge. We'll do that. I think we'll do permadeath for this playthrough. Uh, I think that'll be fun and challenging. And I think we'll do, should we do the random Randy? Randy random? Let's do it. So that's fine, that's just a seed. We'll generate our uh, map here, and then we'll pick a spot on where we would like to colonize. So we'll find out here pretty quick where we're going to be. All right, here we are. That's interesting. This is kind of a... Uh, wonder if you can actually get around. I've never seen that before. It's just all like a bunch of little islands. I wonder, I don't know if you can actually get through. So if we click on this, it'll actually tell us. Okay, so yeah, if we were on that island, we'd be stuck. You could just start way up there and have it always be cold. Um, you know what? Oh, I suppose. Oh, we could have a huge map. Now, what were we at? We'll try this one. This should be good enough. Um, look at this. This is like a highway system right here. We'll change that to Fahrenheit. I know people like Fahrenheit more. So I think we'll change that for everybody. Um, yeah, that should be good. Let's go ahead and try this. Or should we move up, maybe? I mean, there's some bad guys right there. The Batmen. I don't maybe want to deal with that. I'm guessing the pirate skulls are bad. This might be good. How's this? What's the terrain tell us? That's not too bad, it's bearable. Forest... You know, I haven't done any mountains yet either. That's Tundra, I don't really want that. Well, they picked it. Oh, what about over here? Flat stone... Stays above freezing, but it gets pretty warm in the summer. And we're also on a road, and we'll buy... One, two, three, four... A lot of outposts. I think this is it. So now here's the fun part, we get to pick our crew. So these are all the skills they get. If there's a flame, that means they are passionate about it. If there's two flames, like look at that shooting double. That means there's, I don't know, they see how fast they learn it and they get joy from it too, so. 
I like this guy. This guy's I mean, he sucks at social, but I think we'll keep him. Now, see, some of them will also have health issues. Like they have a frail torso, and their left arm is messed up. So I mean, their eyes can get messed up. A lot of stuff can get messed up. So we'll keep the space miner for sure. This guy's good at shooting, and he's a seven social. Now, this guy's pretty good, so. Uh, who do we have? Oh, they're great at social and they like shooting, so I think we'll take Lisa. There we go. I think that's a good group. So, two males and a female? That's pretty balanced. Balanced as we can be for having three people. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start. So it's going to make the map for us. So if the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. Barely get the escape pod before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land in this unknown rim world. So we're making plans to survive. So here we go. This is where we crash land. And this is what we get to start. We have a pet fox. Named Veggie, it's kind of a cute name. Let's pause it here. I want to see their character. So they're really, they like shooting, but they're not that good at it. She also likes shooting a lot. She likes shooting the best. I think we'll give her the pistol. I mean, she's going to want a gun eventually, but for now. Um, who didn't get a gun? You didn't get a gun. So these are some of the resources that we have. We have some components, we have some steel. Steel's pretty good. And you can tell people they're allowed to touch it, they're not allowed to touch it. We have some wood up here. We'll let them use that. So, as you can see, oh, look at those roads. There's some abandoned buildings. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can mine out. But for now, we gotta pick a spot of where we want to live. Um, our f first house here is probably going to suck. Oh yeah, we need storage, don't we? So we'll definitely use this road. And you do want to keep stuff inside if you can. That way, it won't get ruined when it's uh, you know, exposed to the elements. So what I'm doing now is you can actually give people priorities on what you want them to do for work. So I want firefighting to be, well maybe we'll go up to two. I want them to be a patient first and foremost. That way if they're hurt, they can go and get medical care and not run around doing other stuff. So, as you can see, that something's in the red. They don't really like it or they're not good at it. I see they're one, and these are five and um, a little bit higher. So, I guess we'll let them. Yeah, I guess three is fine. So, like, warden is when you get a prisoner. Um, everybody can cut plans, so it'll be fine. They're not going to like mining, but they're going to do it because we need to have it. I mean, the only way they're going to get good is if they actually do it, so. Same thing, like, if they're going to suck at cooking. You know, people are probably going to get food poisoning, so. Yeah, I know they suck, but we don't really have much option at the moment. So now what we'll do is we'll go over to our architect, go to zone, and we'll make a stockpile. So right now it's just going to be for pretty much everything. You can like we don't really have air conditioning yet. We'll need to get that later. Oh yeah, I was going to change up the Celsius, wasn't I, for you guys? I know people like to have the old C. So 
So once this is done, they'll build a roof over it and then we'll be able to store all of this stuff. So one thing I don't want to store in here is corpses. We don't really want corpses in there. So there we go. There's our first building. It's dark. There's no lights yet. But now we'll be able to protect our stuff. So I think what we'll build next... We have a little bit of space here. Oops. We're going to build them like a dormitory type of setup. So what is that? Six by six. That looks about even, right? Maybe we'll go three. This is going to be a lot of resources, unfortunately. See, we're already out of wood. But it's pretty easy to get, so I'm not too worried. So we'll need some doors. Now, we won't build the whole thing um, yet. Basically, this is just going to be... We'll just do three. This is for stuff like this slate, these chunks. We don't really need those right now. So I'm going to see if I can haul them out of the way here. And kind of over behind the barn there. So some stuff that we need. We need beds for everybody. We need refrigeration. We need storage. We need stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're working on now. Eventually we'll get stuff like air conditioning and all that. Because they will need it. So, but because they suck at building, all the stuff they're going to build is going to be pretty crappy quality. So there's a pretty good chance that they're not going to like their setup. Now we're probably out of trees already because we don't really have that much wood to start with. So we will have to start grabbing some here and see once they chop it down. They will start building stuff with it. But what's going to happen now is they're probably going to have to sleep outside. If you click on them, you'll see their needs. Ugly environment. This place isn't very pretty. They're uncomfortable. They even don't have anywhere to sit. They want a table to eat on. Now, they have extremely low expectations because, you know, they're basically starting with nothing. So, that does help. But if their mood gets too low, they will have mental breaks. And they'll eat, maybe they'll wander in a daze. Maybe they'll start fires. Maybe they'll attack animals. You don't really know, so. It's best to try to keep them as happy as you can. But because we're just starting, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Another thing we're going to do is check our animals. We have Veggie the Fox. We're going to let him go to obedience school. And then once he passes, he'll start getting trained to hull stuff. So you can't force them to do it. They kind of just do it whenever they want. But he'll start picking up stuff, like he might take those logs and put them away for you. Or if we have something marked to hull, he might help out and, you know, carry it to the proper spot for you. So, it's a pretty good, I mean, we do have to feed him is the downside, so we do gotta make sure we have plenty of food for him, which we don't have a lot of food right now. So. And, oh, they need joy as well, I almost forgot. We'll take a look at that in a second here. So what we're gonna do is build some horseshoes and that will oh it's just a rat that will uh give him something to do so it's just like in real life if you just work non-stop you're gonna be pretty cranky all the time but if you have you know a chance to play video games read a book watch a movie play horseshoes you're not gonna be as mad so this rat is hunting for people we don't want that so what we're gonna do is have our friends here Right now, when they have an enemy nearby, they just are set to flee. I want them to attack. Now, we gotta get them a gun, which we'll have to build them eventually, but for now, we're just trying to build the basics here. But when that rat comes hunting for us, we'll, uh... There we go. So she stabbed it to death. Um, there's no real point in... When you kill it, it's going to be forbidden, so they're not going to want to touch it. 
but we don't really have any way to butcher meat right now, so... There's not much we can really do with it at the moment anyway, so I think our fox will eat it. Now, she's hurt, so we really should make a hospital for her, too. To have a proper place to actually kind of recover and heal and... Um, you know, not die, so... But I think we'll have... Because we don't have a full building yet, like this. You see how that has a roof? You click on this down here in the bottom right. Everything with the green has a roof. But this is kind of a complete room. They'll roof that off. So I don't know if they're going to finish this in time. Oops, that's, that's beauty. That's room beauty. Oh, look at that. They actually did it. So they don't have a floor yet. But they do at least have a roof over their heads and a bed to sleep in. Oh, you don't want to finish? What the shit? Alright, I've never had this before. This is, uh... This is new. This is new to me, so... Obviously it's doing a lot of- oh, okay, okay, well, this is rock. It's like this granite, so that's not gonna do much to that. Is it gonna hurt? Oh, no! So it damaged it, but it has, uh... Yeah, see, it's damaging all the wood. I don't, oh, it's da it didn't kill the granite, but it damaged it. This thing goes on forever. Oh, that squirrel got destroyed! Oh, no! Yeah, see, the granite and rock is... Okay, it's over. Wow! So yeah, I've never seen that before. That was completely new to me. I've been playing this for a while. Never had a tornado. Holy buckets. Okay. So as you can see, our stuff that didn't get destroyed is damaged. It's 21 out of 140. So they're going to have to do that and repair. Did our fox die? No, our fox is alive. Good. But you see, like, there's plants here that the animal, if it's like a, you know, there's other animals you can get, that sometimes they'll just eat plants instead of meat. Um. Kind of destroyed that squirrel, didn't it? So, yeah, that was a bit scary. I've never seen that happen before. What a start. So. I think that's about as good a time of, as any to, uh. Call it a day, so we'll just go ahead, save, and quit to the menu. And yeah, I think that'll do it for us for this episode. I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check out my Twitch and Twitter at the links down below in the description. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope I get to see all of you the next time around.